Well, hey everybody, Ken Krushka here. So I got just got done putting a can of gum out carb cleaner, you know that stuff. Running that through this 1933 Royal, it's dripping right now. I used this old bacon pan for a catch. Came out like, you know, almost like dirty motor oil. But um, I found a few things out so far. And and I, I don't know, maybe my videos suck, maybe they don't, but they got to be better than watching a guy type for seven minutes and not learning a thing when you're looking up a typewriter. Now, these glass side plates on here, when I took them out, uh, there was age and shit under the edge on the inside. So I found that using warm water at the sink and a toothbrush, soft bristle toothbrush, you can get, you get the warm water going and you can get in from the front round under the edge. There's a little movement and ah, la, la, they're clean. So same with that soap and water, on well, that soap, but the water thing, the warm water, it seems like these body panels from this one have a tendency to really like being washed under the water. Then they just come out rinsed off better. Um, you know, and of course I love my E6000 glue, so under the, uh, where is that part? Oh, that's the this looked like a this bottom plate from the inside looked like you know somebody had been cooking in an oven. I mean it had just baking pan. Oh, this front plate's back. I, I glued that. Uh, there we go. I glued that back on uh, in the back that catch uh, insulation or whatever that is. But let me get to the meat of this. So my flashlight was spazzing out, so I have I'm trying to re-record this. So last night, I uh, oh that's right, it has to be up on its side here. All right, so here we go. Come on, girl. Come on. Oh yeah. Say she's on her side. Okay, so in in the bottom here we have uh, Spring City going on, and from from the side here, from the top down, you can see uh, springs here. And they make they go all the way down and through up, up through all the keys. The second one in was goofed up, so I replaced that one uh, with a new spring and threw out the old kinked one. Well, then I realized when I took the bottom plate off that, or whatever, when I started looking at the bottom, that um, this one here, this long one, was broke. So I actually ended up reusing that spring that I took off up there that was goofy and catching it in on a few links here and then pulling it and hooking it onto the far end of the connector for this other half that broke. But what I've done basically is given the body back to the return on the number five key, I believe that is. I could have I could have pulled it more, but you know it's returning. That's the whole point here. So if you if you have one of these that's broken, it's not the end of the world. You may have to go a little further up with it and then stretch it and hook it on. But you can give that body back to it and still reuse the broken spring that's in the machine rather than, you know, try and try and muster something else up. So, I don't know. I hope that helps you all. Little tricks that I found out so far working on her. But, um, that's all I know. Oh, this. This is an idea I have floating around. I had ordered a... Some parts from a, they, they do a show in Chicago coming up for the uh, antique slot machines and jukebox show. And uh, what I had ordered was a, a slot machine part, but these are brass 1 16th diameter by 3 8 length uh, slot machine grips. And I thought... You know, brass is soft. If I had a, and these are even shorter, these are just brass hollow eyelets. Um, 
you know, on like a Smith Corona, if one of the links came undone, and uh, I figured, well, I could use that that diameter eyelet, uh, eyelet, or this length brass slot machine part, and put it uh, through that linkage spot. And of course, you know, you got to cut it to the right length, but give yourself enough length in brass, so you should be able just to squeeze it, because these have a head on the other end. I think that would clear. Maybe I'm wrong, I haven't had to try it yet, but i uh, just throw that out there to the world, because uh, there's got to be somebody who can take that idea from, from there. Alright, I'm going to stop gabbing. i got work tonight, but just wanted to show you what i figured out here so far on the 33. So, you all take care and have a good day. Adios.